Hello, welcome back. In the last episode, we talked about enhanced capabilities in crossplay that is offered as part of the pro tier of the Prism. Now let's take a look at some of other new capabilities. Building on top of a newly designed analysis page, now you can group charts and save them into sessions. You can actually save into multiple sessions. This is going to allow you to work on multiple issues uh, simultaneously. And they're going to speed up your troubleshooting experience. But the most ex exciting features in this release probably will be that now you can extend the observabilities into a non-Nutanix uh, environment. You can connect uh, a uh, collectors, which is agent list, to a uh, vCenters and pull the data from there. So you can have uh, monitoring capabilities on those VM running on non-Nutanix environment infrastructures. And those data will be fed into the same uh, platform and machine learning engines in the prism so that we can generate actionable signals, whether it's a forecast or a norm detection and trigger the automation process that you can build through the crossplay. So let's take a look how all these things work together in a product demo. Now, one of the exciting things in this release is that we're extending uh, the smart automations and operations to the VM and the virtual infrastructures outside of the Nutanix environment. Now, let's take a look at how they're going to work in the product. So in the past, we can see uh, the VM, the host, and the cluster information, whether it's a CPU memory and I.O. through the Prism UI. In this list, you can configure that to connect the vCenters that manage those VM, the virtual infrastructures, outside of Nutanix clusters. And in this environment, I already connect the vCenter in those kind of environment. Once I, I did that, now you can see in addition to everything happening in the Nutanix environment, now you can look at everything happen in the external virtual infrastructure environment that have been managed by a vCenters. So here you can see all the VMs in those vCenters that you can configure to, to monitors. Let's take a look at one of those VMs. You can get the basic uh, information, the configuration information, as well as uh, the uh, the metrics with the CPU, memory, or any other metrics that are coming from the vCenters now I'll be able to show inside uh, the prism. Not only that, the uh, machine learning will continuously learn those behavior as well. It will trigger anomaly and detect the efficiencies of those VM. Not only the VM, actually can also show the hosts and the clusters, right? So in this case, let's take one of the hosts as example, so you can see now we have a vCenters, uh, the ESX host showing over here. So let's take a one of the host. Um, let's, let's take a look at the metrics. You can see uh, there's a VM behavior band that we generate based on the CPU and the memory. Uh, and you can see a little, um, here's a little bit of spike uh, around 10.20 uh, this morning. Now let's take a go back into the vCenters and let's take a look at the vSphere client. Let's see, uh, in the same host, what do we see? So here's the vSphere uh, client. You can see the same host as a CPU usage. You can see the same spike over there. So that's exactly the same data we come see. But the benefits that you put it into the prism and is that now we can use the machine learning, the same machine learning uh, can apply to those uh, data to get better signal. And it can also uh, look into the better charts. So for example, you can add that to the analysis page, which also is a new enhancement in this release, among many other things. Now you can not only have a multi-select different metrics and the entity to create a charts very easily, but you can create, organize those charts as a session so that it can help you to um, troubleshoot the problem within certain contexts. You can switch the context uh, and save different sessions together, right? So here, again, we can see the same CPU usage, which is coming from uh, the, the vCenter uh, ESX host. And just like any other features, you can set up the alerts, it will automatically generate anomalies, so you can have the full benefit uh, of uh, the smart operations that we used to have only on the Nutanix clusters 
now extend to the non-Nutanix environment. In next episode, now we're going to move on to the ultimate tier and take a look at other exciting new features introduced in this release. Stay tuned.